Hello and welcome to UAT Time within the United Country Special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website firstua.com. I'm Sergei Vilichansky. And I am Olivier Vedrin. UAT Time is dedicated to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by addressing Israel Ukraine to the rest of the world. In order to unite Ukrainians around the world to face challenges, some activists have come up with a plan and a vision. Our guest today is Yuleta Moskalu, co-founder of Global Ukraine. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome Lydia. Welcome, Sergei. Yes. Uh, thank you for stopping by to uh, enjoy our tea time. So, now, um, we, we will talk about uh, global Ukraine, but we want to know a uh, little um, more about you before you started global Ukraine. Yeah. Actually, uh, global Ukraine was started when? Uh, in February uh, 2015. Okay, so now let's go back and uh, catch on the information before what you were doing and what you were involved in. I did my PhD in France at uh, Lorraine University in management and governance, uh, where I was teaching at the university since uh, 2004. Mm -hmm. So, uh, more than 10 years, uh, and uh, I uh, also uh, created a um, consultancy firm, Vision and Management, in uh, France. And I was uh, working like a consultant, expert, and coach uh, on management, leadership, uh, in uh, different uh, French and uh, international uh, uh, companies. Uh, so, I have some experience uh, in France, in uh, different African countries, and Haiti, and now I have some consultancy projects also in Albania, in Estonia, it's like this. Okay, with your French accent <laughs> and with you being a French EU expert, I'm pretty much feeling alone here because <laughs> now you can start talking French, French and I'm like, yeah, yeah, oui, oui. <laughs> oui. Um, so, um, what took you, what, what made you uh, come to this vision of starting the global Ukraine. It's, uh, since uh, Maidan began, uh, we were uh, um, uh, all Ukrainian leaders uh, uh, worldwide. We were uh, very involved, trying to help uh, uh, to um, uh, to, def uh, to promote Ukrainian inter interests uh, worldwide and also to try to develop some um, some new tools uh, fighting pro Russian propaganda and uh, um, we began uh, working together in different countries so uh, there were a lot of uh, new volunteer moves uh, all around the world uh, that were created um, these last two years and um, by the end of 2014, so like 10, year, ten, ten months ago, uh, I decided uh, that uh, we should develop uh, a kind of new network, uh, trying to, to develop uh, um, new projects uh, in order to promote mm. Ukrainian interests worldwide. But also, that was also the consequence of uh, because uh, we met on Maidan with uh, Violeta, mm -hmm. we were together with some European deputy, French deputy, and uh, the President Rimalos also. And I think this is also the, uh, a consequence of Maidan because uh, Violeta was very involved during Maidan, and uh, and she was a link between France and Ukraine also during Maidan that yeah. we met there. And I think you know uh, the um, emotional impact of that. Can well, explain. Yes, I oh. have wrote. Uh, I have sent a letter uh, to our French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Laurent yeah, Fabius, yeah, yeah. uh, explaining uh, which was the situation, mm -hmm. and it was uh, during the night of. Uh, 10 to 11 of December, yeah. um, when uh, we had the first uh, tentative to um, yeah, yeah, yeah. to to break the to move. break, yes, mm -hmm. to break the move. Mm -hmm. And uh, two <coughs> days later, uh, they asked me to come in Paris uh, to Quai d'Orsay. So uh, we be began working together with uh, our French uh, diplomats and yeah, also and with our contacts she, in Brussels she, 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 and Strasbourg yeah, okay. and yeah, Washington. Yeah. Brussels, Strasbourg. She was involved with the Quai d'Orsay. This is now our Minister of Foreign Affairs, and with our friend Alexander. Melnik also, we, we work on law, a lot in the, in the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And uh, that was like lobbying in favor of Ukraine. Okay, okay. Now, now uh, my observation is this. To some, you know, there, uh, I clearly see 
two kinds of people. Uh, as a result of Maidan, some people are, you know, having high expectations and they're just sitting in their expectations and getting disappointed with things, what, what's happening. But some other people, and many of them we have already had as our guests, mm -hmm. uh, they took Maidan as a, uh, as a motivational yep. step for, with new ideas, and now they've used this emotional um, uh, passion to create something new. And, and that's exciting. A lot of our friends we, we made on Maidan with Violeta, now they're on the road and they, they, exactly. they continue the, the job exactly. of Maidan. Exactly, exactly. In some NGO or in, some, in the RADA also, because we have some friends who are now deputies yes, in the RADA. In RADA and in different uh, government institutions. Yeah, in the government also. also. And you know, by knowing this, uh, with uh, you know uh, as though you can see kind of what is happening nothing is happening nothing is changing or whatever but knowing you know so many different people in so many different uh, uh, directions and areas are doing uh, their their best and they, they are trying to remove a dinosaur you know yeah. <laughs> it's not easy yeah. exactly <laughs> exactly exactly now uh, the mission of global ukraine um, create extraterritorial state ua now, exactly. this is some sort of an ambition. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, leaders, young leaders, uh, very uh, glo really globally connected. So okay. uh, we understand that uh, Maidan uh, gave uh, us, gave uh, to Ukraine the chance to become like uh, something like a pioneer of a new globalized world. So right. uh, everything is possible. Um, as uh, Alexander Melnik said uh, during our first uh, mm. forum of global Ukrainians in Kyiv. In, in the glo globalization, it's like connecting people, places, and ideas, uh, trying to innovate, to develop new projects, and uh, we see Ukraine like a new global uh, um, startup, and uh, and uh, we will really develop our projects in order to achieve uh, to achieve it. Well, uh, you know, I'm pretty much uh, I, I'm so excited about this, really. So I would like to, you know, for us to offer UAT time as your voice. You know, we would love to, you know, uh, uh, cover all the things what's happening and uh, you know, be become part of your uh, movement because I, I like it. That's I've why I've read I, the manifesto. That, that, I've read the vision, that's mission, why I invited values. Violeta. That's why I, I invited Violeta. Thank you very I much. I think we can be partner of this yeah. movement. Yeah. Oh, Seriously, we can maybe develop a new program, uh, Global Ukrainians, and our uh, yes, we new can be partner because uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, our, um, okay, our key key sentence, our logo, our is to show Ukraine to the rest of the world. This is the same, yeah. and uh, I think we can be partner. It's not a problem. That's why I invited uh, yeah. Violeta. I think that's a good idea to to do some synergy together. Yeah? So one of our projects, because uh, we try to develop a network, but uh, we also have uh, three uh, different projects now. Um, that these, these projects all were uh, like launched uh, two months ago, after our first uh, forum of Global Ukrainians. And uh, we work on uh, Global Ukraine News, uh, trying to develop a, a new uh, informational uh, agency and media hub. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in order to develop our own agenda and to speak worldwide uh, who we are, uh, uh, why uh, all these Ukrainian volunteers yeah. uh, do uh, what they do and so on. So our second project is Global Ukrainian Business, trying to promote Ukrainian business and to help them to develop, uh, to find new markets worldwide and uh, to attract some um, financial resources also. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third one is uh, Global Ukrainian Academy. Um, we uh, will launch next year uh, a new uh, university. Um, it, we call it like University of the Future, okay. uh, trying to bring in Kiev and in, in uh, all Ukrainian regions uh, the best knowledge mm -hmm. uh, from different uh, famous universities mm -hmm. worldwide, like. Um, Harvard, Stanford, uh, and, and so on, because uh, we have one of our target uh, global Ukrainians. Uh, um, we try to bring together our PhD uh, all around the world. So, uh, uh, trying to uh, to give back in Ukraine uh, a part of our intellectual capital that was uh, spread uh, um, abroad. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, also, uh, I want to know, in fact, uh, we are we have also a project to, to do some uh, record about investment for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's also one key of our maybe uh, synergy. Um, I want to, I have a question because uh, global Ukraine, uh, we must talk also about the Ukrainian diaspora. Mm -hmm. And uh, you say that you don't want to unify the Ukrainian diaspora, and I totally understand that. But um, maybe you can be not, not to unify the diaspora, but maybe to be a new form of diaspora, more efficient. Well, what I'm saying is, like, is, uh, is there a the, need to de unify yeah. diaspora? No, no. It has to, you know, diaspora has been, you know, for ages, but uh, this is some sort of a new spirit, new, yes, new, new, spirit, new way, new, new yeah. approach to things. Yes, it's, uh, some people call uh, this uh, phenomena like last wage of diaspora. Uh, we are speaking most, mostly about expatriates, Ukrainian mm -hmm. expats, uh, because uh, in our vision, uh, one expat, expatriate, uh, is not completely lost for Ukraine, so mm -hmm. they can come home, go home. Like in my example, I spent 15 years in France and uh, now I am in Kiev, so trying to do some useful things for uh, my country. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, um, these last wage, uh, these young leaders uh, were not really uh, involved in uh, the life of uh, um, Congress of Ukraine. Ukrainian, yeah. so Ukrainian mm -hmm. Congress mm -hmm. uh, worldwide, you mm -hmm. know. So, uh, because we speak about uh, our mindset, uh, it's a little bit uh, specific mindset, like globally connected, because uh, we are really very, um, uh, how do we say? How can we say? Uh, we can travel a lot. We can uh, have different uh, professional experiences, yeah. and uh, um, it's this is, this is, this is you know, this is uh, the twenty-first century. This is, uh, yes. I think, this is. Uh, uh, normal uh, consequences of uh, uh, this is a new I cannot say new diaspora but a new way to think about mm -hmm. Ukraine mm -hmm. for uh, for for expat as you say we have contacts on uh, the um, all uh, continents uh, yeah. so uh, during our um, forum on saturday we had connections with our ukrainians uh, young leaders in uh, mexico in uh, um, south africa mm -hmm. uh, in uh, egypt uh, in uh, shanghai in pekin in india australia uh, Brussels, Washington, some of them were, uh, um, came in Kiev uh, from Palo Alto, from New York also, uh, from Poland uh, and different European countries. So uh, we really can develop a very powerful network yeah. uh, trying to, so, and it's, it's this kind of community and of new uh, kind of organizational structure, yeah. uh, it's really very um, exciting for me uh, to, to try to develop and to understand which will be the new rules of uh, our uh, future uh, communities and organizations because I'm expert and also uh, mm, researcher in management mm -hmm. and in governance mm -hmm. field so uh, it's really very interesting uh, what, a big what, challenge what do you think uh, as far as Ukrainian expats you know th some of them have left the country maybe a year ago but some have left five to you know ten years ago or longer uh, what makes them uh, remain Ukrainians abroad? Uh, you is, can it, is it quite typic typical or uh, still there is, you know, it's, it's not a mess? Uh, you can never forget uh, your origins, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, born in Ukraine, but I am Romanian, my nationality. But I also spent 15 years in France. I, uh, I was working in Luxembourg and in different uh, also countries. Um, so I have really big uh, ex international experience. Uh, but in my heart, I feel really very close to Ukraine. So, mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, we understand that uh, Maidan gave to Ukraine the possibility to, to begin like pioneer of yeah. This globalized, globalized Start world. With a new page. Yes, and uh, and <coughs> like uh, trying to develop and to be a part of this uh, these uh, historical uh, movements and uh, um, try to do some useful things and also to to be inventive to create something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think what is very interesting is that uh, because you know uh, I, I give a lot of conferences to university and uh, the students Ukrainian students are waiting for something. Mm. Uh, because some of them uh, are thinking, uh, are thinking how to go, 
how to, to leave Ukraine. And some of them, they really don't, don't want to leave Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And for them, uh, and we must propose a job. And uh, I think this NGO is very interesting because for the young generation, we have the duty to give them a chance in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And you know also for Ukrainians uh, that are still abroad, um, even if they will no, not be able to come home, um, even if they will continue their life uh, abroad, uh, all of them want Ukraine to um, be able to become a successful country you now, uh, after the uh, first Orange mm -hmm. Revolution, now after the Euromaidan Revolution. No one of us, uh, between us, uh, uh, want to, uh, to have this feeling of uh, like uh, something like a, a failure. Uh, you are not able to develop something, mm -hmm. to just only able to do revolution. <laughs> so uh, uh, that's why uh, they are still uh, motivated, still, in, uh, still involved, and um, and we uh, try to, to develop something new. Mm -hmm. But I repeat, for the new generation, this is a duty to give to them the chance, a chance to, to, to live in Ukraine. Yeah. Well, you know, first of all, uh, if they see only the news uh, that they get on, uh, you know, prime time TV. And those news, we know that those news are very manipulative. Yeah. So they get discouraged and they really think nothing is changing. So they need to be exposed mm -hmm. to the new ideas, to, mm -hmm. you know, to, uh, that they can learn from, you know, uh, you know, highly educated and professional people that even those that come from the West back to Ukraine, mm -hmm. you know, motivated enough to start something new and to challenge uh, and to challenge the new generation that, hey, you know, sky's the limit to what you can do. Yeah, pretty much. You know, on, only, you know, your limitations are only in your in your mind. Yes. And if you only see and feed on the, you know, uh, uh, primetime TV, then that's it. You know, you're lost. <laughs> But hey, you know things, and that's what, you know where, where I'm interested to find out more about. You know, you just recently, a couple of days ago, had uh, the second, right? Mm -hmm. uh, second Global Ukrainians Forum. Yes, exactly. Now, tell us more about this. We presented and we discussed our uh, vision of the strategy of um, public diplomacy network, uh, which can be, could be this uh, strategy of uh, the trying to build a professional public diplomacy network. Because our first goal is like to promote uh, Ukrainian interests abroad. So we have a lot of uh, um, contacts in Brussels, in Strasbourg, in Washington. Able uh, decision makers who are really very close to to the decision. Makers. So we discussed our strategy. Firstly, uh, we uh, uh, had uh, uh, some representatives of different ministries because we try to cooperate with the Minister of Foreign Affairs mm -hmm. in Ukraine, Minister for Information and Politics. Uh, this was um, later. We discussed our um, projects, uh, news academy, and uh, business uh, promotion, and uh, we also uh, discussed our uh, um, governance and organizational principles because it's really not uh, so easy to try to, to develop a, a horizontal uh, organization, you know, like uh, we speak uh, now about poly, leader, uh, poly leadership mm -hmm. uh, and uh, about how to develop this synergy, how to develop this inclus inclusiveness, mm -hmm. inclusive leadership, and uh, how to, to find these uh, uh, main rules uh, that will give us the possibility to develop an um, organization uh, based on trust and on values because it's really very important mm -hmm. so we had like three panel sessions uh, very very intensive and uh, very interesting uh, uh, the, um, there is a kind of record online uh, on YouTube mm -hmm. channel so uh, if someone uh, is interested uh, how you do can they find it by a hashtag or global Ukraine it will be on our uh, website so it's global um, ukraine.org so you can find uh, easily okay. global dash uh, Ukraine.com. Org. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah, you know, I, I was there the, the, on Saturday, you know. Yeah. And uh, I was there in the afternoon, and uh, pretty much a lot of people. Yeah. And young people were there, and uh, I can assist. It was a success, you know. And I saw some Ukrainian on by Skype from India. That ah. was very funny. Greetings. And uh, yeah. 
And, but all those young people, they are very motivated, and uh, that's, that was really nice to see that on the, on the afternoon, some Saturday afternoon, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, I'm really very happy because I am like a, a initiator of this move and um, I have some understanding of management and leadership principles and it's really a very uh, great opportunity to be able to uh, try to organize some new projects uh, uh, having um, such kind of leaders because mm -hmm. they are all uh, very competent and very mm -hmm. motivated okay. and uh, it's uh, really very, very exciting. Okay. To and, and a lot of them, uh, I saw a lot of them before for uh, in Tarshish and Go event or some big, big uh, event, uh, academic event. And there are really a lot of those young people are very brilliant person, mm -hmm. very, very brilliant person, mm -hmm. BHD or high school, very, very brilliant person. And it's very important to involve those persons. Sure, sure. How do you function? Are you connected with uh, some government agencies or are you pretty much independent? It's uh, an international NGO um, and uh, we try to, co to develop some cooperation forms with uh, uh, different uh, ministries like foreign affairs, information politics mm -hmm. and ministry of economy. Uh, but we are completely independent okay. and uh, we have our vision and our strategy of public diplomacy and uh, actually the, ministry, the Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they will launch now a new unit of public diplomacy mm -hmm. inside their ministry. Mm -hmm. so they uh, proposed us to try to develop uh, some projects and uh, okay. they asked me to come to, to give a training like okay. uh, on public diplomacy, mm -hmm. being uh, one of uh, these young Ukrainian leaders involved on, mm -hmm. uh, on the so ground. So you've got some situational partnerships pretty much. Yes, in some yes because uh, we have to develop our synergy because we understand that uh, it will take some time uh, um, before uh, Ukrainian ministry of Foreign Affairs mm. will be reformed. Sure. So we have people uh, abroad, worldwide, in different countries. Uh, we have now a Google map on our website and with uh, uh, something like uh, 50 communities uh, all around the world. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, a very um, huge set yeah. for uh, this country. And sure. uh, our, um, our model is like, um, uh, we took a French model, uh, um, like example, uh, in France we have Institut, Institut Francais. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, Alliance Francaise. Mm -hmm. So Ukrainian uh, politicians um, uh, want to develop, to create a kind of uh, uh, Ukrainian institute worldwide. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our head, uh, our global Ukraine network uh, can be uh, like Alliance Francaise. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. More, um, more uh, flexible mm -hmm. and uh, maybe more efficient. Well, uh, Usually, as, uh, as usually, time flies. Yeah, time flies. And we've got to come to some uh, conclusions. Yep. But uh, seriously, uh, we are you know, very much interested in what, what you do. And uh, thank you. Uh, I think, you know, no, I our think uh, we will invite you again. Yes, yeah. yes, why yeah. not? Definitely, yes. And we want to hear more what's happening and how things develop. Uh, so it's exciting. Thank okay. you. Thank you for so, having me. Thank you. It was United Country UAT time by First Ukraine. Our guest was Violeta Moskalu, co-founder of Global Ukraine. Olivier Durin and Sergei Verichansky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us and we will show it to you the real Ukraine. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day and see you soon.